we're live. Okay, so I'm taking a break from the computer and um, I was doing some cooking and I was like, this looks like a cooking show. So I figured, oh, wait, I teach social media and going live. Why don't I show people what I'm doing? So for those who've been following me, I've been doing the Fuel for Fat Loss program for two months now. Um, if you want information, I'll send you the link in my registration link and please let me know, email me or put some message, I'll give you some information. But what it has done for me is that I've lost a bunch of weight, like mostly fat I acquired during COVID and I've learned healthy habits. And this is what I wanted to show. And one of the best thing about Fuel for Fat Loss is the meal prepping. I've done a blog about this. If you go to katherineair.ca in my blog, there's lots of information. So what I've been doing that I wanted to show you, the first thing is I put everything is in Spad Boy, which is the Cuisinart food processor. And so I've done beets. So this is to put in Buddha bowls and salad, then carrots. So for Sarah Murphy and all the family that is um, doing the fat fuel for fat loss program, this is a tip. So you grate a whole bunch of veggies that you can put in your salads. And then what I wanted to try is to grate this zucchini. And so let's see, this is gonna be our experiment number one. Can we grate the zucchini in this thing? Ooh, I have a candle, so I'm probably gonna burn myself. So let's try to see if this, oh, see, we're gonna learn together. So let's see if we can, I don't think we can sterilize zucchini with this. I'm really not that good at cooking, so this is going to be interesting. So, oh yeah, well, it's not that good. It makes some like really fat zucchini bits. Maybe I don't have the good adapter. So it made big fat zucchini bits. So it's, I think you need a sterilizer for the zucchini, so I'm just going to put it in the beef. And then what I'm going to do is just... Actually, you know what? I'm going to roast the zucchini. So I'm going to keep this for later. And what I want to show you that I do all the time is I put tons of veggies. So a bunch of veggies to roast. And then I put some... Um, so the whole idea with this is you want to have food that's handy and healthy and handy to, to use. So, um, hello. <laughs> Everyone's watching. So I put a bunch of fresh herbs from the garden. It's so yummy. Fresh herbs from the garden in a big Tupperware with all bunch of root veggies. I put a bit of um, sea salt and then I put some olive oil. And the idea is when you have the oven going, like go for it. So I am going to shake this up and I'm gonna go get a cooking tray. Just one sec. prep thing I try to do one big tray of roasted veggies um, that I can use all week long so it's ready so if we have a meal with the kids whether we're having like chicken or roasted tofu or whatever it is or buddha bowl or salads I have those veggies either raw that I've grated ready for the salads or either cook that are ready to go. So when you're super hungry, you don't have to reach for a bagel and cream cheese. You have super healthy options that are available to you. So, all right, I'm adding these guys. I love sweet potatoes. So adding the sweet potatoes to my shaky mix. So this is how I do it. I put all the stuff I want to roast that cooks about the same. And hi, Marianne, yay. Okay, another tip is that I steam Brussels sprouts and because they don't, they seem to take longer to cook. So if you steam them just a little bit, um, they cook like the same speed as everybody else. 
All right, so tiny bit more olive oil, tiny bit more salt, and you can, I guess you could use coconut oil. All right, so that's gonna take care of the roasted veggies. Look how healthy it looks, it's so yummy. Like how would you not wanna eat veggies, right? parchment paper. I have the oven at 400 because, because I don't know any better, so I put all in <laughs> either at 350 or at 400. So put this in there and then I'm going to show you all the other stuff I've been making. So this is it. This is my veggies that I'm going to put in here. Be too, too fat. Okay, it's not too, too bad. I mean, you should really spread it a bit more, but who cares? Oh, that looks so good. Aw, it's exciting. I keep the bits for the hamster. <laughs> All right, this is the veggie tray. I put it in the oven. Okay, so now I just, you forget about it. That's the beauty of it. Forget about it. Other thing I want to show you is what I've been prepping for breakfast. So breakfast prepping, you can make omelet mix and then you put it in these little muffin tray and then you have them ready to go and eat in the morning. You can put oatmeal, make oatmeal in advance and you take um, a spoon like a ice cream spoon. I don't know where it is. So sometimes I make oatmeal and then I take it with an ice cream spoon I make little balls in a Tupperware so in the morning it's like one portion ready to go and you can have that with one of those little quiches I suppose like ready to go or for um, the kids if you're eating bread you can put them in like the Egg McMuffins kind of so you can make little sandwiches. That's another good tip. My other tip I wanted to show you is try to always make a sauce so you have a sauce ready to go. I made the food for fat loss sauces and so I have sent the Vitamix away to repair which is a great tragedy um, but Vitamix are warranted for seven years just so you know so it's worth to buy one because it is a life lifesaver I have a Cuisinart that I killed in one time so my backup plan was this magic bullet and for the make a sauce. So the idea is to have one grain ready to go. So I cook quinoa in advance, I cook brown rice in advance, so I always have that ready to go in the fridge. Then I make some sauces, roast some veggies, and get some raw veggies so you can whip something up really healthy, really easily, and then have some proteins ready to go. So let's make a test. This is gonna be an ultimate test for the the magic bullet because you never know when it's gonna explode so let's check it out so in this I've put this is a food for fat loss recipe um, the recipe book is really great I'll put the links in the comments below but there's lots of sauces and I really like that oh I forgot the water I need a bit of water to this I like to add sauces so to be about right for water and okay we're gonna test this so I always in meal prep do a couple of sauces ready to go in advance all right when you do like the the program you actually have like everything you should need but to eat but really what it's mostly about is healthy grains fruit veggies oats quinoa try to uh, cut down the other stuff so here we go much to go so I just put I guess it was like mm, that smells good it's um tahini and miso and honey a bit of ginger super yummy I made another one that was the pad thai one so this is good put the lid I suppose that the good thing with the magic bullet is that you have those lids well, it needs a bit more buzzing maybe but yeah so always make your sauce and then I wanted to show you other stuff that I made in advance. I always make energy balls. Ooh, <laughs> I thought I have to eat it. 
energy balls in advance those are super yummy so when you're hungry or if you go running but they do melt if it's hot I had a bunch melt like in the back country in my pocket once but um, make energy balls I keep them in the fridge or in the freezer and the other thing I do is like for in the morning like um, lemon and ginger so I make like a concentrated mix and then I put a bit in water in the morning but then you don't have to grate ginger in the morning because I don't know who's got time for that. So that's ready to go. And then I keep the basics. So this here, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you. These are my like funny toppings. So to top off on salads, I always have like grains and seeds and nuts that you can just spray on top of your salads, on top of your bowls. Or I also have hemp, um, hemp seeds and I keep chia and quinoa and coconut flakes and cinnamon handy so I can add that to to anything I cook and when you do meal prep you can prep a lot of things like overnight oats in advance so it's nice when you have your measuring spoons and uh, cinnamon oats chia ready to go so you can prep lots of breakfast in in a row so um Oh my God, Jennifer Black, you're the inspiration. This morning in the VIP workout, like I'm doing the VIP workout super late, they're like, what are you thankful for? And I kept thinking, I'm thankful for Jennifer Black because um, I've known Jennifer in the past and then I've seen her like around town and then I've seen her photos with the results with Food for Fat Loss and I was blown away about healthy and like this glow she had. And then, um, and then, yeah, so I was like, today, what are you thankful for was the question. And the whole time I was doing my exercises, I was thinking, I'm thankful for Jennifer Black because it really, really, really changed everything. Like, not like the way I feel. I feel stronger. I feel leaner. I've always exercised. Like, we live in Worcester, but I wasn't kind of... I had a vision of where I wanted to be and where how I should be and I was there and I needed to fill that gap in kind of making it happen and I couldn't find the perfect solution and Fuel for Fat Loss for me really was a life changer and for the health of my family too so thankful and grateful to Jennifer Black. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you. Oh, this is another thing, Jennifer, you're gonna be familiar with that. Big water with infused water where you put pretty much any goodies you have. Like I put basil and strawberry because why not? And so it makes you, and the straw is really cool too. My kids steal my water just because they want the straw. It's fun to sip in the straw. Okay, last thing I do is I roast a protein. So roast a protein, I'm doing tofu today and I've marinated tofu I have some marinated tofu cubes in the fridge but I find that I like to keep it super simple sometimes so I put garlic salt like I roast it with coconut um, oil in the um, in the pan like in a cast iron pan and then I just put garlic salt I'm not sure where it is but I'm gonna start this oh here it is I just put garlic uh, a bit of garlic salt because or garlic powder just to give her a bit of kick so that's gonna be the last part of my cooking so it doesn't take that long to do meal prep really you just need to have your system you need a good grater you need a kitchen aid to help you out you need something to make your sauces and just have a game plan and just sit down and do it and once once it's done then you have it all week it makes life so much easier um, one more thing I want to show you is when the oven is hot, I'm going to put some, so I go to Costco and get massive coconut oil and olive oil and all that because we live in Worcester. Okay, two more things. So this is going to go here for these little guys. And um, when the oven is hot, after I've taken my veggies out and the oven is already hot, I like to add just roast tomatoes. I don't, I eat some tomatoes just when they're really sweet, um, little cherry tomatoes, but for the bigger tomatoes, I roast them um, at a bit lower heat. I think it's like 275 and you forget them in the oven. Then you have those ready to go in your fridge as well. And then um, I think that kind of, I'll put a bunch of spices. 
I mean garlic salt on this. And these are gonna be good to go. Yeah, there you go. Easy. Um that's it. Meal prep, it doesn't take that long. If you go, hi Simone! Ah, Simone's in the house. Okay, you can watch the replay. I was kind of doing meal prep and I thought, you know what, I might as well up on camera and show people what I do. Um, I did write a blog uh, <laughs> at katherineair.ca and then forward slash um, if you go to my blog, you'll see something about meal prep and I talked about uh, the Feel for Fat Loss program and I'm super thankful for to Jennifer for introducing me to this program and for Simone to help me create um, healthy habits and I don't want this to burn. So I think if you're stuck inside, I'm stuck inside because of the forest fires and I'm <laughs> my kids are not feeling good so I'm kind of on lockdown. So I think Feel for Fat Loss works super good for that because you can do your exercises from home and you can do all your cooking and your meal prep and all that. So it's getting loud in the back. Thank you for everyone who signed up um, using my link. We do get referrals, so it's great if you use my link. So thank you to, um, to Jane and to Catherine that did it last month and to everybody who signed up this month. Um, I'm so, so stoked to see how you do. I know everyone had amazing results. And if you want more information, just tag, um, pop in in the comments. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions. And I think that's it. I'm going to give you a big kiss to everybody. Please watch the replay or check out my vlog. And I'd be super happy to hear from you. I'm going to have to run around to <laughs> Okay. Woohoo!